ओम समर्थ सद्गुरु श्री साई नाथाय नम श्री साई सच्चरित चैप्टर फोर साई बाबा फर्स्ट एडवेंट इन शिरडी मिशन ऑफ द सेंट्स शिरडी अ होली तीर्थ पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ साई बाबा दिक्टम ऑफ गौली बुआ अपियरेंस ऑफ विठल क्षीर सागर स्टोरी दास गनुज बैथ इन प्रयाग इमैक्यूलेट कॉन्सेप्शन of sai baba and his first advent in shirdi three vadas in the last chapter i described the circumstances which led me to write sai satcharita let me now describe the first advent of sai baba in shirdi mission of the saints lord krishna says in bhagavad gita chapter 4 7 8 that whenever there is a decay of dharma righteousness and an ascendancy of unrighteousness i manifest myself for the protection of the virtuous and the destruction of the vicious and for the establishment of righteousness i manifest myself age after age this is the mission of the lord and the sages and saints who are his representatives and who appear at appropriate times and work in their own way to fulfill the, that mission for instance when the twice born that is the brahmans the kshatriyas and the vaishyas neglect their duties and when the shudras try to assert the duties of other classes when spiritual preceptors are not pres- re- are not respected but humiliated when nobody cares for religious instructions when everybody thinks himself very learned when people begin to partake of forbidden foods and intoxicating drinks when under the cloak of religion people indulge in mal practices when people belonging to different sects fight among themselves when brahmins fail to do sandhya adoration and the orthodox leave their religious practices when yogis neglect their meditation when people begin to think that wealth progeny wife or their soul concern and thus turn away from the true path of salvation then saints appear and try to set matters right by their words and action they serve us as beacon lights and show us the path and the right way for us to follow in this way many saints with nivrutti gnandev mukta bai namdev gora gonai eknath tukaram narahari narsi bhai sajan kasai savata ramdas and various others did appear at various times to show the right path to the people and so the present advent came as shri sai baba of shirdi shirdi a holy tirth the banks of the godavari river in the ahmednagar district are very fortunate for they for they gave birth and refuge to many a saint prominent amongst them being gnaneshwar shirdi also falls in the kopargaon taluka or the ahmednagar district after crossing the godavari river at kopargaon one gets on way to shirdi when you go three kos that is 9 miles you come to neem gaon from there from neem gaon from there shirdi is visible shirdi is as famous and well known as other holy places like gangapur rishimhawadi audumbar on the banks of krishna river as the devotee damoji flourished and blessed mangalveda near pandarpur as samarth ramdas at sajjangad as shri narasimha saraswati at saraswati wadi so sainad flourished at shirdi and blessed it personality of sai baba it is on account of shri sai baba that shirdi grew into importance let us see what sort of a personage sai baba was his he, he conquered this sansar worldly existence which is very difficult and hard to cross peace or mental calm was his ornament and he was the repository of wisdom he was the home of vaishnav devotees 
most generous like karna amongst all the quintessence of all essences he had no love for perishable things and was always engrossed in self realization which was his sole concern he felt no pleasure in the things of the world or of the world beyond his antarang heart was as clear as a mirror and his speech always rained nectar the rich or poor were the same to him he neither knew nor cared for honor or dishonor he was the lord of all beings he spoke freely and mi- mixed with all people watched the actings and dances of nach girls and heard ghazal songs still he swerved not an inch from samadhi mental equilibrium the name of allah was always on his lips while the world awoke he slept and while the world slept he was vigilant his inner self was as calm as the deep sea his ashram could not be determined nor his actions could be definitely determined and though he sat in one place he knew all the transactions of the world his darbar was imposing he told hundreds of stories daily still his he swerved not an inch from his vow of silence he always leaned against the wall in the masjid or walking morning noon and evening towards lendi and chavadi still he at all times abided in the self though a siddha he acted like a sadhaka he was meek humble and egoless and pleased all such was sai baba and as the soil of shirdi was trodden by sai baba's feet it attained extraordinary importance as gnaneshwar elevated alandi eknath did it to python so sai baba raised shirdi blessed are the grass leaves and stones of shirdi for they could kiss the holy feet of sai baba and take his dust on their head shirdi became to us devotees another pandarpur jagannath dwaraka banaras and rameshwar badri kedar nasik trayambakeshwar ujjain and mahakaleshwar or mahabaleshwar gokarna contact of sai baba and shirdi was like our study of veda and tantra it quieted our sansar world consciousness and rendered self realization the darshan of sai baba was our yoga sadhana and talk with him removed our sins shampooing his legs was our bath in triveni prayag and drinking the holy water of his feet destroyed our sins to us his commands were vedas and accepting his udi and prasad was all purifying he was our shri krishna and shri rama who gave us solace and he was our parabrahma absolute reality he was himself beyond the pair of dwandvas never dejected nor elated he was always engrossed in his self as existence knowledge and bliss Shirdi was his center but his field of action extended far beyond to Punjab Calcutta North India Gujarat Dhaka and Konkan thus the fame of Sai Baba spread far and wide and people from all parts came to take his darshan and be blessed by mere darshan minds of people were whether pure or impure would become quiet at once they got here the same unparalleled joy that devotees get at pandarpur by seeing vittal rakhumai this is not an exaggeration consider what a devotee says in the in this aspect dictum of gauli bua an old devotee by name gauli bua aged about 95 years was a varkari of pandhari he stayed for 8 months at pandarpur and for 4 months ashada to kartik that is july to november on the banks of the ganges he had a donkey with him for carrying his luggage and a disciple as a, as his companion every year he made his wa- wari or trip 
to Pandharpur and came to Shirdi to see Sai Baba, whom he loved most. He used to gaze at Baba, saying, "This is Pandharnath Vital incarnate, the merciful Lord of the people and helpless." This Gauli Bua was an old devotee of Vitoba, and had made my, many a trip to Pandharpuri. Pandari, and he testified that Sai Baba was real Pandari Nath. Vital himself appeared. Sai Baba was very fond of remembering and singing God's name. He always uttered Allah Malik, and his presence made others sing God's name consciously day and night for all seven days of the week. This is called Nam Saptah. Once he asked Das Ganu Maharaj to do the Nam Saptah. He replied that he would do it, provided he was assured that Vital would appear at the end of the seventh day. Then Baba, placing his hand on his chest, assured him that certainly Vital would appear, but for that the devotee must be earnest and devout. The Dankapuri Thakur of Dan. Uh, uh, Dakur Nath, the Pandari of Vital, the Dwarka of Ranchod is here. One need not go far out to see Sai. Is see Dwarka? Will Vital come here from some outside place? He is here. Only when the devotee is bursting with love and devotion, Vital will manifest himself here. After the saptah was over, Vital did manifest himself in the following manner. Kaka Sahib Dikshit was, as usual, sitting in meditation after his bath. He he saw Vital in a vision. When he went at noon for Baba's darshan, Baba asked his him point blank, "Did Vital Patil come? Did you see him?" He is a very trant fellow. Catch him firmly; otherwise, he will escape if you are even a little inattentive. This happened in the morning, and at noon there was another vital darshan. A hawker came there for selling twenty-five or thirty pictures of Vitoba. This picture exactly tallied with the fig- figure that had appeared in Kaka Sahib's vision. On seeing this and remembering Baba's words. Kaka Sahib Dikshit was much surprised and delighted. He bought one picture of Vitoba and placed it in his shrine for worship. Bhagavan Trao Shir Sagar story. How fond was Baba for Vital worship was illustrated in Bhagavan Trao Shir Sagar story. The father of Bhagavan Trao was a devotee of Vitoba and used to make varis to Pandarpur. He also had an image of Vitoba at home, which he worshipped. After his death, the son stopped everything—the vari, the worship, and shraddha ceremony, etc. When Bhagwan Trao came to Shirdi, Baba, on remembering his father, at once said, "His father was my friend, so I dragged him here. He never offered naivedya, and so he starved Vital and me." So I brought him here. I shall remonstrate him now and set him to worship. Das Ganu's bath in Prayag. The Hindus think that a bath in holy Tirth of Prayag, where the Ganga and Yamuna meet, is very meritorious, and thousands of pilgrimage pilgrims go there periodically to have the sacred bath there. Once Das Ganu thought that he should go to Prayag for a bath and come and came to Baba to get to to get his permission for doing so. Baba replied to him, "It is not necessary to go so far. Our Prayag is here. Believe me." Then wonder of wonders, when Das Ganu placed his head on Baba's feet, out flowed streams of Ganga Yamuna water from both the toes of Baba. Seeing this miracle, Das Ganu was overwhelmed with feelings of love and adoration, and tears filled my eyes. Inwardly, he felt inspired, and his speech burst forth into a song in praise of Baba and his leelas. Immaculate conception of Sai Baba and his first advent in Shirdi. Nobody knew the parents, birth, or birthplace of Sai Baba. 
Many enquiries were made. Many questions were put put to Baba and others regarding these, but no satisfactory answer or information has yet been obtained. Practically, we know nothing about these matters. Namdev and Kabir were not born like ordinary mortals. They were found as infants in mother of pearls. Namdev be- being found on the bank of. Bhim Radhi River by Gonai and Kabir on the bank of Bhagiradhi River by Tamil. Similar was the case with Sai Baba. He first manifested himself as a young lad of sixteen years under a neem tree in Shirdi, for the sake of bhaktas. Even then, he seemed to be full of knowledge of Brahma. He had no desire for worldly objects, even in dreams. He kicked out Maya and Mukti. Deliverance was serving at his feet. One old woman of Shirdi, the mother of Nana Chopdar, described him thus: This young lad, fair, smart, and very handsome, was first seen under the neem tree, seated in an asan. The people of the village were wonderstruck to see such a young lad practicing hard penance, not minding heat and cold. By day he associated with none. By night he was afraid of nobody. People were wondering and asking whence this young chap had turned up. This form and features, his form and features were so beautiful that a mere chap had. His form and features were so beautiful that a mere look endeared him to all. He went to nobody's door. always sat near the neem tree outwardly he looked yet very young but by his action he was really a great soul he was the embodiment of dispassion and was an enigma to all one day it so happened that god khandoba possessed the body of some devotee and people began to ask him deva you please enquire what blessed father's son is this lad and whence did he come god khandoba asked them to bring a pickaxe and dig in a partic- particular place when it was dug bricks were found underneath a flat stone when the stone was removed a corridor was seen in which four samayis were burning the corridor led to a cellar where cow mouth shaped structures wooden bo- boards rosaries were seen Kandoba said this lad practiced penance here for 12 years then the people began to question the lad about this he put them off by telling them that this was his guru's place his holy vatan and requested them to guard this well the people then closed the corridor as before as Ashwatha and Audumbar trees are held sacred. Baba regarded this neem tree equally sacred and loved it most. Mahalsa Pati and other Shirdi devotees regard this site as the resting place, samadhi sthan of Sai Baba's guru and prostrate before it. Three Vadas. The site with the neem tree and surrounding space was bought by Mr. Hari Vinayak Sathe. and on this site a big building styled sathes vada was erected this vada was the sole resting place for for pilgrims who flocked there a platform was built round the neem tree and lofts with steps were were constructed under the steps there is a niche facing south and devotees sit on the par facing north It is believed that he who burns incense there on Thursday and Friday evenings will by God's grace be happy. This vada was old and dilapidated and needed repairs. The necessary repairs, additions and alterations have been made now by the sansthan. Then after some years another vada, Dikshit vada was constructed. Kaka Sahib Dikshit solicitor of mumbai had gone to england he had injured his leg in an in, in an accident there the injury could not be got rid of by any means 
Nana Sahib Chandorkar advised him to see Sai Baba. So he went to Sai Baba in 1909 and requested him to cure the lameness of his mind rather than that of his leg. He was so much pleased with the darshan of Sai Baba that he decided to reside in Shirdi. So he built a vada for himself and other devotees. The foundation of this building was laid on 10/12/1910. On this day, two other important events took place. First one, Mr. Dada Sahib Khapar Dey was given permission to return home. and the second one the night aarti at the chavadi was started and the vada was completed and was in, inhabited on the ram navmi day in 1911 with due rites and formalities then another vada or palatial mansion was put up by the famous millionaire mr bhuti of nagpur A lot of money was spent on this building but it was all well utilized as Sai Baba's body is resting in the in this vada which is now called the Samadhi Mandir the site of this mandir formerly had a garden which was watered and looked after by baba three vadas thus came up where there was none formerly of these sathes vada was most useful to all in the early days The story of the garden which was attended by Sai Baba with the help of Vaman Tatya the temporary absence of Sai Baba from Shirdi and his coming again to Shirdi with marriage party of Ch- Chand Patil the company of Devi Das Janki Das and Gangagir Baba's wrestling match with Mohiddin Tamboli residing in the masjid love of mr dengle and other devotees and other incidents will be described in the next chapter bow to shri sai peace be to all